Hey everybody, today I'm going to help you customize your Samsung TV. So grab your remote and let's get started. And before we get into the TV settings, I want to talk a little bit about the remote you get when you buy your Samsung. I purchased my TV back in 2020. This is the remote I got, but some people have left comments on the channel letting me know that they also got a Samsung One remote with their TV purchase. Since I didn't, I headed to Amazon and picked up a knockoff for about $10, and I gotta say I really like it compared to the regular remote. Here is a look at them side by side. The smart remote, Obviously, it has fewer keys. Gone is that number pad, which is pretty useless with most streaming apps anyway, but the smart remote still has quick keys to home, settings, volume controls, as well as shortcuts to the most popular streaming apps like Netflix, Prime Video, and Hulu. Now, you do not need the smart remote, but it is something that I highly recommend if you didn't get one with your TV purchase. Let's keep it moving. I've got a lot to share with you today. In this section, my goal is to help you organize the apps on your home screen. First, watch as I long press on the Hulu app, and you see I've got the option to either move it or remove it. Let's say that Hulu is your favorite app and you want to move it to the front. I'm going to show you how. I'll just click move, and then I can arrow left with my remote to move the app to the first spot on the home screen. And I'll show you the remove option with another app. Let's use Disney+. Plus. Again, all you got to do is long press on the app, and then you'll see the options. I selected Remove, and Disney Plus is gone from the home screen. Watch closely here. We're going to leave the home screen. I'm going to arrow to the left and bring you to the app screen. This is the place you want to be to browse apps that are not already downloaded, installed, or added to your home screen. And if you know exactly what you're looking for, I suggest that you use the search function. Follow along. That's in the upper right corner. And when you click on search, you're going to see an on-screen keyboard to search for the app you're looking for. And by the way, I've got a lot more to say about this keyboard in the next section. For now, I've just searched for the Fubo TV app and installed it. And after the app is downloaded, you see I've got the option to open it or add it to the home screen. And after adding it to the home screen, I can move it to any position that I want to. I'm back on the app screen for now to show you something else. Click on the settings wheel in the upper right corner to see all of your apps. If you ever want to delete an app, this is where to go. I'm going to delete that Fubo TV app that I just installed. That worked just fine. It's deleted. But you're going to notice that some apps are not able to be deleted. Netflix, for example, and that's because it is one of Samsung's recommended apps. You can't delete recommended apps, but you can still remove them from the home screen. Follow the steps that I just showed you a minute ago. From the home screen, just long press on the app and then select Remove. And after you confirm that selection, it is no longer on the home screen. Earlier, I said I had something to tell you about the keyboard. So I'm going to navigate to the search bar to bring up the keyboard and we can talk about that. Watch here as I use the on-screen keyboard to search for the YouTube app. And I type the letters one by one until the YouTube result displays right at the top of the screen. This works just fine and it is actually my preferred way to use the Samsung keyboard. But I gotta show you another popular option. I deleted the result and navigated to the settings wheel at the bottom of the keyboard. I clicked on that and selected this, predict next character. So let me search for the YouTube app again. You'll see the difference. As soon as I press the letter Y, there are suggestions for the next letter surrounding the Y key. And Samsung says, the more you use this feature, the better the recommendations get over time. Now I know a lot of people prefer using the keyboard this way. For me, it just doesn't work. I'm faster doing it on my own, but this is a popular feature, so I wanted to mention it for you here. We'll head to the settings menu for this next tip, and after you click the settings key on your remote, go down to general, and then you're looking for smart features. I've got two options turned on from this section, auto run smart hub and auto run last app. I'll turn my TV off and then right back on, you'll see how they work. First, you see the Samsung Smart Hub launched along the bottom of the screen as soon as the TV turned on. And second, the Samsung TV Plus app is playing, and that is the last app that I had opened. Now, I gotta mention, and this is just from my experience, the Auto Run Last App feature doesn't work for all apps, especially live TV streaming services. But when it does work, it is a nice feature to have to quickly get you back to streaming. And while we're talking about Samsung TV Plus, Let's talk about the features of the free ad-supported streaming service. 
If you're not familiar, Samsung TV Plus has a mix of live channels and on-demand content. I've selected the Bob Ross channel from the live guide for this example. And when I arrow down, you see the option to star the channel and favorite it. As I keep scrolling down, you're going to notice more Samsung TV Plus content is featured. And if you ever see something from the on-demand library that you want to check out, you can select it and look for the plus sign. That way you can add the show or movie to your watch list. This main navigation is where you're going to access that watch list and favorite channels later on. You can just arrow down to access it from Samsung TV Plus. And there's something else I want to show you on this screen, but I've got to scroll all the way to the very bottom for you to see it. And here you can see manage your viewing history. If you ever want to clear your viewing history and start over, that does include your watch list and favorites. This is the place to do it, but just know that clearing your history is going to affect your recommendations. I don't really use Samsung TV Plus all that much, but the service is improving. I still like other services like Pluto TV, the Roku channel, Tubi, and Freebie a whole lot more. But hey, if you like Samsung TV Plus, leave me your content recommendations down below. Screen mirroring. This is something I use every day on my Samsung TV set, and it's just a way to show what you've got on your phone on the big screen. This feature works with Samsung Galaxy devices as well as iPhones. I'm using an iPhone for this demonstration. I tap screen mirroring from the settings, select my Samsung TV, and then my phone screen is right on my TV screen. This is great for displaying pictures and videos. I mostly use it to follow along with a workout app that I use. Let me stop screen mirroring to show you something else you need to know about Samsung TVs, and I get asked about this one quite a bit. I'm back on the Samsung Smart Hub, and I'm going to scroll all the way to the right to select Internet. Yes, Samsung does have an Internet browser built in. So with this browser, you can check out my website, michaelsafes.com, or any other website that you would prefer to see on the big screen over a computer or a phone. I also want to show you this. Go to the Internet menu in the upper right corner of the screen, scroll down to Settings, after that, Privacy and Security, and from here, you can delete your browsing history at any time. I gotta say, purchasing the Samsung One Remote, or I should say the knockoff version from Amazon, it's made using Samsung's interface a whole lot easier. But at the end of the day, I still prefer hooking up an external media player like a Roku just for a better user experience. Here's a visual comparison. I think you can see why I still like streaming with Roku a whole lot more. Thanks for watching. See you back here soon.